So this is how to set up a DCT in Facebook. It's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is really go into your ads manager in Facebook. And once you're an ads manager, as you can see here, I'm in a client's account right now. So we have my campaign broad objective right here, which is my main campaign. I'm just gonna click on that. And I now have my ad set right here, my 01 main ad set, where I put all of my winning ad creatives into that one main ad set. I'm now going to set up a dynamic creative test or better known as a DCT inside of Facebook. So I'm going to click create right here. I'm now going to click ad set. I'm going to set type in DCT 001 and I'll name it batch one. I'll now name the ad batch one. So I now named my campaign DCT 001 and batch one as well as my ad just being batch one. As you can see here, I left it actually just in my main campaign though. Okay, farmer grade purchases campaign broad objective. So I'm still leaving it in my main campaign. I'm not opening up a new campaign. I'm still putting it in my main campaign. I'm going to click continue. Great. So we are now inside our ad set. As you can see, DCT 001 batch one. This is where we can do website and shop. I like just doing website, especially since this is a beef brand and uh, some of their products are not actually allowed on shop. We've been having some issues with their items getting published to shop. So we're just going to drive all the traffic to the website for now. Now for the conversion event, we're also going to want to put purchase. As you can see, our audience size is still 246 million but right below where it says dynamic creative we're going to click that on we're now going to click continue and now that is now on as you can see i now have performance goal just as maximize number of conversions oh um, my skip that just want to touch on that and make sure you put it as that now for the budget and schedule just start it on whatever day you're starting it and whatever time you're starting it will automatically start once you hit publish so just don't touch any of this now for audience controls i like to just do uh united states for my location with the minimum age being 18 and for advantage plus audience because facebook's going to target the best audience it can with these ads they look at and see what everybody's actually viewing so if someone's already seen some beef ads and they've maybe purchased some beef ads they're more likely to go buy more beef so we're going to keep on letting facebook doing on the targeting since we don't need to do the targeting and if we did manual targeting it would take weeks to really configure a audience together if we're doing manual targeting if we just let facebook did all, all of our targeting within three or four days it's really going to hit the right audience and especially with the right ad spend. So make sure you're putting money behind the initial four days of when you start a new ad set. I recommend just doing like 40 bucks a day on this campaign. We're at 40 bucks a day right now. So maybe 20 bucks might get put to this. So we'll see how it ends up going. Maybe I might actually raise the, the ad spend inside of our campaign since we're now, since we're controlling our ad spend inside our campaign and not the ad set level. So we're going to do advantage plus audience and for placements, we're going to leave placements as automatic placements or advantage plus and we're now going to go to the batch one of ads this is where we're now going to choose our facebook page and we're going to now choose our instagram account as you can see i linked those two accounts right there now for creative source we're going to do manual upload you can't do catalog and for format we're just going to do single image or video so i'm not going to go into media and select my images so i'm going to choose graphic design batch one go into the feed and upload these right here so we'll actually be running multiple dcts in this campaign since we just have multiple different headlines in some of these ad creatives so in this one we're going to be doing i think two and the next one we'll be doing two and then we'll have four different ad creatives for stories and so we'll do two and two again so we'll end up having four dcts in this video so as you can see right here we have try the breakfast box today and we have try the breakfast box today so these are the two that we're going to be putting inside the dct so we put these in as you can see you can now add in the primary text and the headline my copywriter has not finished the primary text yet so i'll end up writing some primary text for this and then the headline as well for the description i usually don't even add a description since you're not going to see it most of the time but make sure you grab your website url since i know exactly where this product is going to be sent to i go grab that url right now so i added in that url and as you can see now on the right it automatically shows breakfast box you know buy a meat box get free blank um we're kind of gonna leave that there maybe i actually might leave that headline because it's kind of a good headline breakfast box because it says right here try the breakfast box today so i might leave that for now i'll end up adding in the primary text later but we're not going to do display link at all just because we don't actually need it being displayed if we put it in there you would see on the top right here it would now display right there but we don't really need that for the call to action you can now do shop now you can do learn more or you can do get offer since in this we're kind of doing the get free bacon with every purchase we might do get offer and try that and see how that works oh huh, for some reason i actually don't have get offer for some reason so it's actually not popping up in here so i'm just gonna do shop now for now yep so i'll just do shop now for now 
And then for my URL parameters, I'm gonna make sure I actually have this entered in as we're using Triple Weld to track all of our purchases. So I'll just grab it from another ad creative right here and I'll put it in the URL parameters right here. As you can see, TW source, threw it in there. So that way we're gonna be able to track all of our stats to Triple Weld. So now when it comes to actually setting up a DCT, this is all you need to do for actually setting up a DCT. Now, for some reason, you can actually can't copy post IDs right now in Facebook. So we're not able to actually go find a wedding ad creative and go move it to our main ad set. But what we're doing right now is we're leaving on all DCTs that are actually profitable and bringing in money. So let's say this DCT is performing well. We're just gonna leave it on and track it inside of Triple Whale. And if it has a good row as and has good ad spend behind it, we'll leave it on and keep on using it. But when it comes to actually making a DCT and posting a DCT, this is the easiest way to do it. And if you guys like this video, subscribe and drop a like. I'm going to be posting more Facebook content all the time. So thank you guys for watching the video. Peace.